What's going on guys? I'm dealing with construction culture and I'm back with another video today. Um, it's been a while since I've made a video. I've been busy with just life and a lot of other things. Still been taking care of all the snakes and breeding and everything. So we produced a lot of hatchlings this year. I got um, some I'll show you show off in the next video. But for today's video, for the one that I'm coming back for, um, we're going to do a snake unboxing that I just got from TSK, the snake keeper. Um, what else? What else? Uh, I'll try to start doing videos. I'm going to hope to produce videos at least once a week. And then I'm going to at least try to do them every Sunday. That's my ideal best scenario that I think I can work with. Since Sundays usually are more chill days that I don't have very much on. So from now on, I think I'm going to be going to Sundays for a video. And if I make an extra video for some reason or something, it'll be out on a different day of the week. I'll let you guys know definitely in the, our Instagram. If you check it down in the description, it's constrictor underscore culture. So make sure to just check that for all those purposes and make sure you're subscribed. So you guys do get notifications basically when I do post a video, but let's just get into it today. I'm going to show you guys the snake in the snake box, or the, not the snake box, in the light box that I just got yesterday. It makes the snakes look way better. Um, so yeah, let me get that all set up. I'll get the snake kind of unboxed a little bit, at least just the box undone, and then we'll get all set up and show you guys it off. All right. All right, so as you can see right here, got the box basically just opened up, just basically cut the tape. So let's get into it. We're going to get this all undone. So, put down in the comments below what you think this is before I even... Oh, well, you can probably see it right there. I'm going to blur that for a second because that, that kind of gives it away. But, put down in the comments below what you think it is. And then we'll get into this. Get this all done. It's all good. Everything's good. Okay. Just snake. Move all the box out of the way. All right. So not tight right there. Still afraid? Cool. Come on. There we go. Okay. So. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Look at the god damn. I don't know if you can see that as well as I can right now. I mean, look at how bright that is. I don't even have lights on that yet. We'll put this definitely in the light box. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show this off like to its fullest potential. But just real quick, real quick. Look at that. Just Orange, bright as hell. The purples. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Okay, give me one second. We're gonna set up the light box really quick, and then I'll show you guys it off, and I'll talk about it more. Let me get the snake, and we'll talk about her a little bit. So look at this. If I can get her unwind, there we go. Right there. So look at that. That's that's beautiful right there. That's a pretty snake. And that's just a straight lavender right there. But the better thing that's on top of it that I got her, the real reason for it is for tri-stripe. So she's a lavender 100% head tri-stripe. She definitely is going to be, once she's of size, going into the tri-stripe project, making some beautiful double head babies with her. And then... Just going from there, anything else is a plus on top of that. But look at that. Let me turn the lights down a little bit. See if it... Wow. Look at that right there. That's just beautiful. That's a that's a beautiful snake right there. I can't even stop saying it. I just love how like bright the lavender gene is. Like, there's so much to do with it. Just look at all those that coloring through the whole side. And on top of it, we have another snake coming tomorrow. So there will be another video for that snake as well. So look on the, 
or be on the lookout for that. Let's just look at her a little bit longer. Just get a couple. I'm gonna take a couple pictures of her because I can get some better quality pictures too. And then we'll go from there. All right, guys, so there you have it. Um, showed her off a little bit. I got her all set up really quick and everything. Get her some water and everything and back on some heat. Um, more than amazed and happy with what I got from that because lavender just blows me away with some of the way it just looks. And like seeing it, seeing it through a photo never does it justice compared to seeing it in person, I feel like. Like lavenders, they have like that, they get whitewashed out, I would say, in photos compared to like in person where they hold those like that purple and the whites and everything. It's just like way better to ever see in person. I highly recommend that gene. If you want a good like color changing gene that works well, does a lot of good for any sink you put it into, lavender albinos, definitely no complaints about them. So big plans with her. Got some time to basically raise all these babies up. Um, Tomorrow we got another snake video coming out for you guys. And then on top of that, I'll show you guys some of the babies off eventually here. I have a couple of these asphalt double head clown pies that I produced. Um, I have some confusion with some of them that I'll go over in the video, obviously. It's just like some have some wonky pattern where some others don't. And it doesn't make sense why one does and the other doesn't. Like, why is this one and so on? So we'll go over that whole thing and what the confusion is and if you guys can even help me out on it, if you have any ideas of what would possibly be causing it. But remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on IG at constrictor underscore culture. Check the description down below. I have some listings for some of the snakes at our morph market. I just updated photos on most of them. Um, so if you see anything you like, let me know. And then, as always, have a good one. Peace.